Hey Ashley, this is William Bowman. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to record this video for you. Uh, it was a pleasure speaking with you the other day. Um, I, I want to explain exactly what I found on your website and hopefully this information can help you either now or in the future. Um, either if you wanted to implement it or if you wanted to give it to your IT guys. Um, but I want to show you uh, what to change in order to get some better results and more volume in your direction. Um, so that you can start building that revenue. Um, in, in order to do that, I want to explain some things so that you have an understanding of how to implement the changes and be able to tell when the changes are actually working. Because honestly, you know, results is what we need right now, right? So I'm going to be covering the volume of clients looking for your services in your specific area, what your top online or online competitor is doing to win that volume, and then things you can change right now on your site in order to start winning those clients in the future. So starting out, you know, I, I popped through your site. Um, I know that it's currently still being kind of revamped and built up and everything. Um, it's, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's definitely, definitely still a work in progress. Um, you know, the, the favicon still shows WordPress uh, instead of, you know, your own personal one. Um, looks like you have an email address. That's good um, for a subscription, it looks like. Um, I would recommend getting some kind of some kind of maybe contact um, because it looks like there's not really a way to find you other than throwing in an email address. So yeah, so definitely definitely get a contact form or at least put your number and your email address or something like that on here so people can actually reach out to you. That's really important. Um, there's there's no point in a bunch of people coming to your website if they can't actually find you, right? Um, so definitely get that get that situated. Now, um, the other thing that I would mention is uh, get some more content. So you typically want a thousand to fifteen hundred words on any page that you are trying to rank. So that would be on this page and maybe any of the back pages. Also, maybe like a menu system to get to the other pages easily along the top or something, uh, because these send you certain places and not quite sure how to get back okay 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 so this is the i'm sorry that that is the uh, okay so i'm figuring this out as i go along but uh let's let's actually hop into what's important right why the thousand to fifteen hundred words why why do that um the reason being is because you want to be able to put in keywords you want to be able to kind of repeat those keywords five to six times on any pages you're trying to rank so when we throw in dog training, Colleen, Texas, typically you would see like an ad up at the top. I'm glad nobody's trying to advertise because, you know, honestly, a lot of people just skip past those. I know I do. Uh, but when we're looking at the next area, this next area is actually very important. The Google map pack, it's called, uh, you can go to Google my business. Uh, if you just Google that, <laughs> um, you can actually put in the company name, your information, all of that. And they will give you a little point based on the address. And they will give you a place where you can get reviews and you can even have a link to your site, which is that helps with ranking. Um, it also helps with customer confidence. Uh, people really like to be able to see Google reviews, even if they know about you, even if they know that they want to use you, they're going to want to come and check to make sure that they can read some Google reviews. So this is something if you have not done this, please go and do this or have your IT guy do it, um, please. Um, next, this is the area that I really wanted to focus on. This is called the organic search area, and this is primarily based off of, well, it's only based off of what words is thrown into the keyword search. So you can't pay to be here. So that's what I kind of want to talk to you about is ways that you can move your business so that it does appear on this front page, preferably in spot number one. So let's take a look. The first competitor that you have here, number one competitor is Colleen Cove. Um, you know, looks like they have quite a bit of content on this front page. They probably have quite a bit of keywords. Um, and yeah. And then if we, uh, if we pop over here, it looks like they have a hidden menu, um, shows all the different locations that they use, that they could serve. This is a pretty big company. It looks like they're all over in Texas. Um, so we don't want them winning local business and clean. So let's see what they're doing right. Um, let's pop over to our, my analytics tool and take a look under the hood. Now I do want to show you something. This is based off of their entire domain. So like their entire website, all the pages and everything like that. Um, if we look at this, we're going to see 
UR, DR, backlinks, organic keywords, all of this, but let's, let's walk through this. So a UR, um, this is UR and DR, both of these. They're from zero to a hundred. The higher the number, the better. So a six and an eight, that's not very high to have first rank on Google front page for any search. So these are easily beatable. Um, the UR of six, UR meaning URL rating. Basically, that's like trustability of your site. Um, so you want that to go up. Um, DR, domain rating. It's like the power or the reputation of your site. You definitely want that to go up. For first place in, on Google, I would recommend 15 to 20 for any town, just to have a 15 to 20 uh, minimum for both of these. Um, you know, and it takes takes a little bit of time to get up there, but when you look at it, the, the way to grow these, one, one specific area of focus would be utilizing backlinks. Now, what is a backlink? So a backlink is simply if, you know, Somebody in one of these blogs or something like that was, uh, was, they were writing information about dog training. And then they said, you know, by the way, go ahead and go use Canine City, the best in town. Well, and then they put a link to your site. That's an example of a backlink. So, um, what I want to mention here is quality over quantity. You want quality backlinks. I've seen 10 or 15 backlinks beat 325. I've actually seen one or two backlinks raise these URs and DRs to 15 or 20 by themselves. So quality over quantity, you don't need to waste your time making 325 different backlinks. If you can literally just make five to 10 really good ones, um, you can definitely beat this. So um, that is one big recommendation, um, make some good backlinks. Um, looks like they have 325 in total coming from 50 different sites. But let's see, what are they trying to rank for? It looks like they're trying to rank for a whole bunch of different words. Um, so these are the word combinations, right? That somebody would enter. Service dog training, canine academy, behavior dog training, dog training, clean Texas. Oh, there's a good one. So this is the volume on average every single month that people search for this exact thing. So it looks like 90 per month. They're ranked number one. Now, if you look, service dog training, they're ranked number 10. 13,000 volume, you'd say, oh my God, I want this volume. No, you don't. Um, service dog training, that's, that's an, that's a national search. Maybe even international look. Brazil, <laughs> uh, Canada, UK, 766 of these words rank in the US and two of them rank over here. One of them ranks over here. Like the problem with these is, yeah, I could bring you volume, but if you don't have a location in Brazil or UK or Canada, then doesn't really do you any good because you can't make any money off of it. So I usually tell my clients, focus on focus on location specific near you for your specific services that have a volume that you want to acquire. And you can stack them, right? This is 90. Dog training clean, a little bit different. It's 60. So, and I'm pretty sure they have other clean ones in here. Um, but those are, you know, just those two. Go ahead and go and try and start winning those two by increasing your UR and DR, getting that, uh, getting that reputation of your site up, um, get the content on the page, you know, kind of maybe revamp the website a little bit to where it's a little bit easier to navigate. Um, and if you do those three things along with maybe setting up your GMB, you should be able to start directing a lot more traffic your way. Um, I had, a, I, I really did enjoy our talk. I've been thinking about it a lot over the past couple of days. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything. Um, you can always reach me by my phone. You know, that, that phone number that we spoke on, that, that was my personal cell phone. So, uh, feel free to reach out, but, uh, please, if you, if you could drop me some feedback or maybe if your website guy wants to drop me some feedback on what you guys thought about the video, if the information was useful enough and if it was easy enough to follow so that you guys can actually implement it, um, because that's kind of what I'm after. So, um, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.